This is my last broadcast as the anchor man of the CBS Evening News. For me, it's a moment for which I long have planned, but which nevertheless comes with some sadness. For almost two decades, after all, we've been meeting like this in the evenings, and I'll miss that. But those who have made anything of this departure, I'm afraid, have made too much. This is but a transition, a passing of the baton. A great broadcaster and gentleman, Doug Edwards, preceded me in this job, and another, Dan Rather, will follow. And anyway, the person who sits here is but the most conspicuous member of a superb team of journalists. Writers, reporters, editors, producers, and none of that will change. Furthermore, I'm not even going away. Old anchormen, you see, don't fade away. They just keep coming back for more. And that's the way it is. Friday, March 6th, 1981. I'll be away on assignment, and Dan Rather will be sitting in here for the next few years. And so ends a chapter of almost 46 years as this reporter moves on along the journey. A deep bow of gratitude, love, and respect to the men and women of CBS News and to the company for which they stand. To you out there, thank you for honoring me with your presence in my audience, and most of all, for your voices, your most sweet voices. Douglas Edwards, CBS News, New York. For people watching, I can only tell you that it has been an honor and a privilege come into your homes all these years and entertain you. And I hope when I find something that I want to do and I think you will like and come back that you'll be as gracious and inviting me into your home as you have been. I bid you a very heartfelt good night. Well, the time is here. We've been through a lot together through dark days and nights and seasons of hope and joy. Whatever the story, I had only one objective, to get it right. When I failed, it was personally painful and there was no greater urgency and course correction. On those occasions, I was grateful for your forbearance and always mindful that your patience and attention didn't come with a lifetime warranty. I was not alone here, of course. I am simply the most conspicuous part of a large, thoroughly dedicated and professional staff that extends from just beyond these cameras across the country and around the world in too many instances in places of great danger and personal hardship and their family to me. What have I learned here? more than we have time to recount this evening, but the enduring lessons through the decades are these. It's not the questions that get us in trouble. It's the answers. And just as important, no one person has all the answers. Just ask a member of the generation that I came to know well, the men and women who came of age in the Great Depression, who at great personal sacrifice saved the world in World War II and returned home to dedicate their lives to improving the nation they had already served so nobly. They weren't perfect, no generation is, but this one left a large and vital legacy of common effort to find common ground here and abroad in which to solve our most vexing problems. They did not give up their personal beliefs and greatest passions, but they never stopped learning from each other, and most of all, they did not give up on the idea that we're all in this together. We still are, and it is in that spirit that I say thanks for all that I have learned from you. That's been my richest reward. That's nightly news for this Wednesday night. I'm Tom Brokaw. It's Brian Williams here tomorrow night, and I'll see you along the way. We've shared a lot in the 24 years we've been meeting here each evening. And before I say good night this night, I need to say thank you. Thank you to the thousands of wonderful professionals at CBS News, past and present, with whom it's been my honor to work over these years. And a deeply felt thanks to all of you who have led us into your homes night after night. It has been a privilege and one never taken lightly. Not long after I first came to the anchor chair, I briefly signed off using the word courage. I want to return to it now in a different way. To a nation still nursing a broken heart for what happened here in 2001 and especially to those who found themselves closest to the events of September 11th. To our soldiers, sailors, airmen, and Marines in dangerous places. To those who have endured the tsunami, and to all who have suffered natural disasters and who must now find the will to rebuild. To the oppressed and to those whose lot it is to struggle in financial hardship or in failing health. To my fellow journalists in places where reporting the truth means risking all. And to each of you, 
courage. For the CBS Evening News, Dan Rather reporting. Good night. As some of you now know, I have learned in the last couple of days that I have lung cancer. Yes, I was a smoker until about 20 years ago. And I was weak, and I smoked over 9-11. But whatever the reason, the news does slow you down a bit. I've been reminding my colleagues today, who have all been incredibly supportive, that almost 10 million Americans are already living with cancer, and I have a lot to learn from them. And living is the key word. The National Cancer Institute says that we are survivors from the moment of diagnosis. I will continue to do the broadcast. On good days, my voice will not always be like this. Certainly, it's been a long time, and I hope it goes without saying that a journalist who doesn't value deeply the audience's loyalty should be in another line of work. To be perfectly honest, I'm a little surprised at the kindness today from so many people that's not intended as false modesty, but even I was taken aback by how far and how fast news travels. Finally, I wonder if other men and women ask their doctors right away, okay, doc, when does the hair go? At any rate, that's it for now in World News Tonight. Have a good evening. I'm Peter Jennings. Thanks and good night. Now, folks, I want to thank you very, very much for inviting me into your homes for the last 50 years. I am deeply grateful. And please remember, help control the pet population. Have your pets spayed or neutered. Goodbye, everybody. Uh, uh, it's, it's not very often in my life I've been without words. But I want to thank everybody associated with this program, all the people behind the scenes, as I mentioned, Wendy and the staff, the floor people, everybody who makes it possible, even the suits at the top. I love them, too. Uh, when I started 25 years ago at a little studio in, in, in Washington, D.C., I never thought it would ever last this long or come to this. So I'm going to go on, do a lot of other things. We're going to do specials here on CNN. I'm going to be seen in other places, we'll do some radio work, be around baseball. So you're not going to see me go away, but you're not going to see me here on this set anymore. For two weeks, they're going to be playing highlight shows. I, I am, I don't know what to say, except to you, my audience. Thank you. And instead of goodbye, how about so long? I know I am the luckiest woman on the planet. But it is time to say goodbye for me now. Not something that I've looked forward to because there are so many things I'd like to say to so many people, but it really is time to close this chapter of my life. I have loved my job. Sitting in the anchor chair at Entertainment Tonight has put me in the spotlight for a very long time, but you know what? This wonderful daily job is the result of a huge group of incredibly hard-working, passionate and creative people to whom I will always be indebted and after that music video today you guys even more talented than I ever realized <laughs> my gosh it's all about the entertainment business and I certainly want to thank the Hollywood community for innumerable experiences and unique adventures that have made these 29 years go by with breathtaking speed you know in the early days in the early years, many said this show would never last. There couldn't possibly be enough entertainment news to fill a half hour every single day. Well, in fact, as you know, there's never been a dull moment. I want to thank my executive producer, Linda Bell Blue, dear friend, who has put her soul into surprising me for weeks now and basically made everyone in this room lie to me about what's really going on around here. <laughs> this send-off is phenomenal. I want to thank my family. I am blessed with their love and their support every minute of every day. Now, to have been part of a pioneering TV show, bringing entertainment news into your homes every night has been a pleasure and an honor. And we would be nothing without you, our loyal viewers. To you, I will be eternally grateful. I have never taken for granted that you have allowed me to come into your home for dinner. 
And the biggest compliment I've heard over and over is, Mary, I feel like you're part of my family at dinner time. I want to thank you for that very special privilege. And finally, I've had the pleasure and great honor of sharing the stage for these past many years with Mark Steinis. And I feel the weight of saying goodbye. But you know what? I am leaving my anchor chair with confidence and lots of affection to Nancy O'Dell. And I am going to be watching them right along with you. If we happen to bump into each other out there, just because I'm ending one part of my life and going on to another, please don't hesitate to just walk by me and go, da 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 I would love it. I look forward to seeing you in the next chapter of my life. Thank you all. Thank you. Godspeed. Many of us have been together for 25 years. We have hooted and hollered together, had our aha moments, we ugly cried together, and we did our gratitude journals. So I thank you all for your support and your trust in me. I thank you for sharing this yellow brick road of blessings. I thank you for tuning in every day along with your mothers and your sisters and your daughters, your partners, gay and otherwise, your friends, and all the husbands who got coaxed into watching Oprah. <laughs> and I thank you for being as much of a sweet inspiration for me as I've tried to be for you. I won't say goodbye. I'll just say, until we meet again. To God be the glory. And so we come to the end. And it couldn't happen at a more fitting time than the beginning of September 2011. It was 35 years ago this month that I agreed to come to work for CTV, and Harvey Kirk and I teamed up for a successful seven and a half year run. During that period and since, we have had the usual ups and downs in the news cycle from natural disasters to royal weddings. And I am deeply grateful to the many of you who have stayed with us through it all. For me, it's been a rare privilege to have been able to serve in this position for so long. It's been a front row seat to history. If someone had told me 60 years ago this would be my life, I would have said they were crazy. And that's the kind of day it's been, this Thursday, September the 1st, for all of us at CTV News. Good night. I know you want to say a few words. Yeah, this is the time to say goodbye to everybody. I wanted to thank our staff, our crew, the Prop House guys, where it all started for me years ago. My producers, Gelman, and of course my lovely co-hosts over the years. You know, this was the last chance I had of this business, to make it here in New York. And I came back a little bit late in my life to make it all work. I guess it was fate that it would happen this way, and it did. 28 and a half years, and uh, we've had a wonderful show and a great time. And now the show continues with Kelly. Some people ask, why has the show stayed on so long? And I think it's answered to me every time people tell me why they watch it. They watch it, they say, because it makes them feel better. And it can't get better than that. It makes them happy. And I, I'll, I'll never be able to top that. And I'll never be able to answer all of the cards and letters and messages that have poured in, especially in the last uh, few weeks. But I'll always remember spending these mornings with all of you. So thank you very much for these great years together. God bless you all. And I hope I see you again real soon. Thanks, everybody. Oh, you know, with the memories you